Hi everyone, it's uh, so exciting to be here to see um, this event that's being put on. Um, it's such an exciting space. Um, so for those of you that I haven't met before, I do see a couple of familiar faces. My name is Dr. Nicola Conlon um, and I am a scientist and I specialize in the science of cellular aging. So what is it that is going on inside of our cells to cause the aging process that we see going on on the outside. And um, we've just spoken a lot of, about drugs in that uh, previous presentation, and my background is actually in drug development. Um, so I was very fortunate enough to work for some companies that were very forward thinking, that started looking at developing drugs to slow aging nearly a decade ago now, so um, yeah. But actually, I am not in the drug development industry anymore. I actually left in 2017 and I founded my own company, which is called Nichido Laboratories. Um, and that was for one major reason, in that I could see that there was all this fantastic science happening around the space of longevity. Um, and actually, many of the molecules that we were researching that seemed to work really well when it came to cellular aging were not your classic drug molecules. They were not molecules that um, drugs companies could patent and own and therefore they weren't getting the research that I felt that they deserved. They were more natural molecules. So I set up um, Nichido Laboratories and um, our mission was basically let's take some of these molecules that aren't your typical drug molecules, give them the research that they deserve and basically try to get some of this science into the hands of people and consumers much quicker. So our mission is basically basically to translate the latest science in the field of aging into consumer products that people can actually start benefiting from now um, until we are you know, in the future in, the, in a position where we will have such drugs that have just been spoken about. So I think um, everyone here knows that it's just such an exciting time to be involved in anything to do with aging and longevity. It seems now that a, a day doesn't go by um, where we don't have some big headline or some new paper being published um, to show us that we really can slow aging on a cellular level and actually a lot more evidence now that we can even reverse some of the, the signs of cellular aging. So it's just incredibly exciting to be involved in this space. So when we founded the company, um, NAD was one of the things we wanted to focus on because we could see that a lot of the, the products and things that were out there were not really making sense when you looked at the science. Um, so basically, we designed a, a different supplement that works entirely differently. Um, and what we were looking to do is basically address all of these root causes of NAD decline. So we wanted to switch back on that NAMPT enzyme so that salvage pathway was working better again. We wanted to inhibit that inflammatory CD38 so that wasn't um, unnecessarily wasting NAD and also promote recycling rather than excretion of the nicotinamide um, and wasting these methyl groups. So, um, as I mentioned, my background is in drug development and everyone thought I was a little bit crazy when I left that very reputable job to have a supplement company. But my vision was that we wanted to bring out things that actually have some good clinical testing and science behind them, so we did a clinical trial. So this was a double-blinded placebo-controlled crossover study, so you know a gold standard in terms of design. It was 28 people. Um, our participants were actually aged between 20 to 80, and they were also male and female, which is very unusual for a clinical study. All the studies for NAD have been done in sort of 55 to 65-year-old men, which I'm pretty sure you'll agree is not very representative. Um, so we did it a bit differently. So what did we actually look at? Well, first of all, we wanted to check NAD, so um, it, it boosts NAD, so that was, that was good. <laughs> um, we also wanted to look at how quickly it boosts NAD. Is this, you know, how soon are we seeing the effects? And we saw a significant increase in NAD in the blood after just seven days. The key thing for us was, though, Yes, we're boosting NAD, but are we actually fixing a root cause of NAD decline? Are we actually switching back on the NAMPT enzyme that is so crucial for NAD production in our cells? And you can see here that compared to placebo, we are actually increasing levels of the enzyme in the cells of these participants. And this is the first human study to actually demonstrate that a, a supplement can actually fix a root cause of NAD decline. We also looked at levels of the sirtuins, these, um, you know, these longevity proteins that are very cr cr critical for switching on a lot of cellular health pathways and saw an increased level of those as well. 
And also what we wanted to do is check that we weren't driving inflammation. Was this NAD going to beneficial pathways and not to CD38? Because one of the components of the supplement is a CD38 inhibitor. And you can see that we did actually significantly reduce um, some inflammatory cytokines. So for us, again, that shows that it is actually helping to fix some of the root causes of this decline. We also looked at glycation. Glycation is um, an important um, factor in aging. It's where sugar molecules become irreversibly bind to proteins. It's a huge problem in things like skin aging um, and also stiffening of the arteries. And again, we can see that that actually went down as well. So that was good. But I guess most exciting for me um, was that we actually saw a reduction in biological age. And I don't need to explain this because Nina's already done it. Um, we used the Glycan Age kit and saw that in just 28 days, we saw on average a reduction in biological age by 1.26 years. So again, it's showing that this, um, the increase in NAD that we're seeing is actually going to improving the health of our body and our cells. So just to finish off, you know, people say, well, it's fair enough measuring all these biomarkers and things like that. But the top question that I always get asked is, how does this relate to something clinical? So we do want to do more clinical studies in the future, but just some feedback from customers in that the top reported things that we see are, first of all, an improvement in physical energy and also cognitive function, so mental energy. And again, this makes perfect sense because NAD is so critical for energy production. The other thing that we see is um, a huge um, benefit in people's sleep. Um, one thing that's not talked about very much is the fact that NAD is very important in regulating circadian rhythm. Um, and it, it, a decrease in NAD can cause this, some problems in this as you get older. Um, and then, yeah, with continued use, you see the, the improvements in the outside, like your hair, skin, and nails. I generally don't get as excited about them, but lots of people do. And, you know, if your cells are in good health on the inside, then that is also going to show on the outside. So thank you so much. Mm -hmm.